Okay, here we go. Okay, so um, back to where were we? Yeah, you go back to the center line or 23 meter line. The four defenders who stay back with the goalie must stand behind the goal line, including the, including the toes and the sticks, unless the stick is in the air. Defenders can start running when they inject a touch the ball. So the moment you place the ball, then you can start running. If you start too early, um, and you will see later in the clip, you won't see, but you will see three goals, three players and a goalie. So one has been sent to the center line. Um, yeah, they have to go to center line, no replacement. So that leaves you with three only. So that's always a bit of risk if you really want to run almost like in the moment the ball is, is played to the center of the top of the circle. So attackers, um, the attacker, you can eject on both sides of the, the goal. We really, as you know, most of the time you will see it also in international games, inject from the right side. Um, the injector needs to have one foot outside the field. Um, so you can't have both feet inside the field. One needs to be outside the field. Um, the attackers, of course, then start outside the circle. So not on the circle line. As you know, if you make foot on the circle line, the circle line is part of the circle. Um, injector, you need to wait for the umpire to play the ball. If you don't, so for instance, you play the ball too early and the umpire has not given you yet the, uh, the opportunity or the authority to play, then you will you have to move away and someone else can take that ball. So there's still the short corner, but the person does all the in injection is, is yeah basically sent to the center line. Well, then the ball of course goes to, uh, to the top of the circle. It needs to be stopped outside the circle before taking the shot. I think you all guys all know that. Um, you stop the ball outside the circle, then you move inside the circle because only of course, like in the game, if the ball's inside the circle, you can score. And when you shoot the ball, it cannot be a high ball. So the, high, the highest level base you can play is the, 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 the height of the backboard. Um, any higher than that, they will already call it because they, uh, the umpire will assume that's dangerous. However, you have seen maybe some international games that you can push or drag flick the ball high in the net. Uh, I don't have any clips for that, but I, I'm pretty sure you guys have all seen that on, on the highest level, they try to really push it because then you can play it really high but not when you hit it. When you hit it, it needs to be really low. Okay, so let's, let's start with the... Um, um, so, yeah, is there any question about the two pages, two slides before? Anyone wants to discuss the general rules? Okay, um, so defensive setup. The, the one three meets one runner is the, is the sprinter. That's normally uh, in the team, you know, the one who is fastest, the fastest, let's say 20, 20 meter sprint. Um, that's the one who goes first. This works. Oh, well, that's not what I want, but here we go. Okay, so this is the first, the first runner goes straight to the top. Um, we have showed you also this arrow, I think, at, especially half field, you will see a lot of teams playing it short to the side, like this big arrow here. We normally don't like it that much because you think that you all have to learn and you can hit it hard enough to the top of the circle, which is also a way better angle. So look, if you hit it from here and look at the goal, you can basically play it left or right. From this side here, the angle is not very good because you have defenders in between, you have to go, the chance of scoring is quite low. That's why I think, okay, that's a good reason to go top of the circle and then hit. That means that, they, of course, the injector and the hitter, they both need to be good in hitting the ball. They need to be some, some pace, some, some strength in it. So the first runner, we talk about defensive runner. You, of course, go as, as quick as you can, stick in your right hand, and the only thing you try to do is basically just block the shot. Uh, the second runner, um, just basically behind the first runner. Um, what you have to try is that if there is a layoff, so for instance, they play it to the right, this is where you can block it. And maybe we'll see later on in a clip also that if this hitter goes around the first runner or gets the ball, then you can block it as well. So you're supporting basically the, the, the second runner. Um, the third runner is just, let's say, about six, seven meters out to the right. Um, so what they have to do is, of course, make sure that if there's a rebound, they're there. So if there's a rebound, they can clear it, just like number two. 
They can also try, sometimes you see the injector, you will see it for those clips. They will run to the post. It's also a great way for the third runner to block that pass. Um, so this is almost like just behind the second runner, but on the other side. So if there is, for instance, a variation this way, then third runner will be able to block it. The fourth runner is just the post. They call the post, and it's basically just block the shots, make sure if there's a, a rebound that you can play the ball away. And the goalie, and let's talk about the goalie as well a little bit. Uh, where is the... Oh, the goalie's not in here, but we'll talk about goalie later. But the goalie here, what they have, what, what she has to do is she's the organizer. So before the ball is played, she stays in the field and makes sure that everybody knows what to do. It's really important. It's crucial in short corners that you know what your role is. And you're all very young and we don't know yet where you're going to be in your position when you get older because then you have probably all set positions for both defensive and offensive short corners. Um, but so you really need to know what it means if you're first runner, second runner, third, or post. And as a goalie, you're the one to ask, hey, before you set everybody in the goal so they can start, you have to make sure that everybody knows their goal. It's really crucial. Okay, so here is the, we'll show you what happens here with the setup. So if, for instance, the ball is played here from our view here to the left, then you will see this player comes from here and then moves tries to block it. The second runner is behind. It's the, oh, I see that they go left a little bit. So she's trying to basically block that shot here. There's number three, that's the post normally, number four, and here's number three. So very similar to what you see on top. And here goes the goalie. Goalie is normally about two steps in front of the net. And you can see that goalie moving to the left here. Wow. Because this goalie here, will move towards the, where the ball is taken. So you can see that she tries to stop that shot here. So that's the defensive setup. Uh, offensive setup is, we'll show you later on as well. Injector, of course, always go to the post. And this is the second runner. So basically what you try to do is a, let's say almost a square here around the goalie, because you will see there's always a rebound. Most of the short corners are scored out of rebounds. Don't forget. You have to be really close to the goal. It is important. Okay, so what's happening at the midline here? Um, so defending team is red here, as you can see. And we have three players on the center line. They have a huge role. You will see it later in two clips how important it can be if you're defender or attacker and you're waiting on that center line. Of course, for you guys, when you play, let's say, a half field, you might be here, but the, the field's also smaller. You play full field, it's a center line. Um, so here we go. So basically, here is the first one. So if you're on center line, you go, you sprint as fast as you can back just to help out the defensive team. Then one of the forwards, the two forwards will run in this position just to be sure and to try be open for the ball because the counterattack is there. So what you see now is that the ball is here, so it's played out. So very quickly, this, this forward will go to the ball. This right, this left, uh, it's the right forward. To be, yeah, no, it's the left forward for us, let's say, the red, because she's attacking this way. She sees that, hey, this is an opportunity. She will go straight here. Here's the defender, will see that danger here. Another defender will, of course, try to mark her. And now I have a question for everybody. You can type it, you can say it so, but. Here's the role. This girl sees the danger here because this is very dangerous. It could be in two on two breakaway. What is the role of this player? This is defender. And what is the role? What, what is the main purpose? What does she need to do? So you can, you can push your um, space bar or you can chat and let Stephanie know. Just want to hear what you think this girl so again, the breakaway is here. This is dangerous because look at it. This is two on two, very dangerous. And someone the defense played it really quickly outside the circle. And what is this? Oh, it goes to defender. He goes to the other player. Let's see if I do this correctly. Here she goes. So this player. So she was first offensive player for the short corner. Now what? Anyone? What is the role? Do you want to attack here? 
would you like to maybe try to stop the ball being played here? What do you do? What do you want to do? What's the main purpose of you here? Yeah, pressure is a good one. So what you really don't want to do in this situation, it's not important to, to, inter to get the ball, to really try to get that ball and set up an attack again is, is really unimportant. And why is that? Because you really want to slow it down. As you can see on defensive here on the, on the, on the bottom, is you really want to be patient, but you really try to slow the game down so all these players here can come back. And suddenly everybody here on top is a defender. So what you try to do is a bit, bit of fake pressure, but do not commit, do not dive, do not try to get in front of the ball. Okay, so here we start with the first clip. Um, let me see, here goes the ball. Okay, so let's first set up defensively. Um, so she ran to the ball, it was a quite a nice move around. Um, if you look at this player here, it, it's not bad at all. They both are here trying to put pressure on her. And this girl here, I would have loved her to see a little bit more uh, um, inside this one, outside, but it was, it's not bad. The setup is not that bad. But let's see what happens here. Shot on that. And now very clicky what we talked about is the, the counterattack, how quickly you have to go back. So here comes another counterattack, stops the ball, gets to the girl in front. And it's a goal. So not bad at all. If you look how quickly they did a counterattack. So if you now look defensively, not bad. Pretty good setup. It, it, we'll, we'll show you later how it, it can be improved a little bit. But it's, it's not bad, especially because they both have two players on pressure on her. But now look at the attacking team. They have one here who is not in the circle. Then they have two here, which is this is the injector. And she should be here. This girl here should be here, and this girl here should be in front of her, here. So she's almost all alone here. It's almost like the only one really taking care, really taking part of this attacking corner is this girl here. And then defense does really well getting the ball outside the circle. They play the ball as well, which I really like. They're not running with the ball. See, they try to play the ball, Just play the ball forward instead of, um, of, of dribbling. And there's the goal. So it's a quite nice counter-attack. I really like this counter-attack. Well played, very quickly. We'll show you another one um, from a bit of a higher level. So attacking corners, what is the, the ratio? Just for you guys to understand what the, how many times do you score out of a short corner? Um, one in three, one in four, one in three is really good if you do that internationally. And I think for you guys, it's more like one in five would be perfect. So 20%, one in five, if you score, that's great. And, and don't stress, you know, if, if you don't score, it's, you're, you're just trying and trying to make it better. It's a lot of practicing. I mean, that short corner is a science. It's really about lots of practice. Okay, so the rebound is we're talking about the offensive corner here. Um, where do we all go? Where, where is our position? Because this is crucial. You have to know if you're injector or you're the hitter or the two uh, runners on the side, where do you have to position yourself? And you will see... Later on with a clip from the university, you will see how they do that. It, it's, it's always the same, almost always the same position. So A, injector, and we just saw that, is one and six. You need to be here. So you play the ball and you run as quickly as you can here. Later on, you will see why it's so important and what the chances are of, of scoring. So B, one of the runners, is basically like a six, 11, 12. So this area here. So if here is the injector, you're here. And it's all for the rebound or for deflection at a higher level. Number C, C, so you move up, you hit the ball, and then you move up to, let's say, 12, 13, 14. Again, for the rebound. And D, you will move in this zone, 5, 10, next to the post. So you can imagine here, if you look at it, how, how many players you have in this area around the goalie. And I said, there's always, a, there's, most of the time there's a rebound. Um, it could, or it's in a stick of a defender. So you have such a great opportunity to score, but you have to be aware. You have to be, you have to see that. Okay, so here goes the, um, this is from um, Peter Taylor's team. So this is in, um, in Norfolk, like I said, the East Coast. Um, this is about a minute of all different short corners. I don't think one scored, but that's not, 
not important. It's more how is the setup? How are they defending? How are they attacking? Just take that. Okay. Okay, a little bit longer. Okay, so here's number one. So here's the hitter. Okay, she stops it outside the circle. So we look at the attacking team first. Here's the injector. She runs to the post. And you can see already their setup. This girl with a stick on the ground, she is ready. She's not standing up. She's absolutely ready for that ball. This girl here tries to move in front of her, attacking player, and she tries to get in there because maybe there's a shot here or a deflection from the goalie, and she's ready. And this is just past the goal, but you see they might have discussed that because you all see them together. They talk about a variation. They might discuss, okay, going to hit it here. You or you try to get it in there. So maybe she tried to deflect it in the ball or she did. They just missed the post. And if we go back to the defensive setup. Okay, so this is the runner. Um, because they do a stop, it's a bit different, but she, yeah, try to get your, the stick in your right hand, just try to block the shot. She goes straight to the shot, it's a bit dangerous, but at higher level, they sometimes do that. Well, look, the setup is pretty good. This girl's absolutely ready, bending her knees. She's ready for or the deflection or the shot to stop it. Here, this is a bit of a battle because she knows she tries to get in front of her. And this is just the line stop. And you see the goalie, yeah? it's about five steps out. Look at that. It's about three, two and a half, three meters out. Okay, so next corner. Okay, so very similar. Um, this time you can see this goes a bit faster, maybe a different uh, organization thing, but it is still the same. She hits the ball and what they try to do is deflect from her stick or from her stick. But again, look at the offensive players. They are all ready. They're here, two of them here, two of them there. Any rebound in this area is going to be very dangerous. And that's exactly what you want as an offensive team. And again, defensive setup, first runner. I think the ball, the ball is somewhere here now. This is the ball for maybe if she plays it left. Yeah, it's very well done. This girl, perfect. Oh, the only thing here, she blocks a little bit the view of the goalie, as you can see. So I'm not sure how they have, but maybe better to be here because otherwise the goalie can't even see the ball and the line stop. So you can see already the setup. They're very similar, both attacking as defensive. How they, how they try to defend and how they try to um, do the offensive uh, short corner. Okay, so here she misses the ball, um, and she will now do, and we'll, we'll show you now the counterattack after that. But again, look at defensive team. One, two, pressure. Here, third goal is, uh, is just for the rebound. The goalie is out. She has a clear view this time, the goalie, and here's the line stopper. And you can see there, because she misses, everybody's a little bit, oh, what's happening here? I'm not sure why she's inside the field. Goes to her backhand. It's a good shot, but it's not very dangerous. Easy stop. And here comes the here comes the the, the breakaway. Okay, so what I'll show you now is what happened wrong, what, what went wrong here, but it's not a big deal. Because the, what they try to do is really good. So what happens here, you will see later that she doesn't really hit it well. It's not a clean, hard hit. But what you will see later on is like where I showed you before, is that look at this girl here. The white girl, she's running towards the circle. If she would have had a good shot here, it would always be like a three on two, two on two. Would have been really dangerous. So this is how you do a breakaway, what you saw with the, the U12 team before. And this is how you try to set it up. It's just unlucky for her that she didn't hit it well. But you can all see it's all structured. Field hockey is very structured, so they all know what to do. These forward know we're going back. Oh, there's a breakaway and up. She goes best to the circle. She sees, oh, there's a breakaway for us. So she goes to the side because she always go where the space is. You want to run away from the defender. Okay, one more from the other side, which is good. Very similar setup. Look at the goalie. Look at this girl running to the post. Look at this girl here, here. All the white girls are all ready. They're all ready for that shot.
And here again, one of the things now I would like to focus is see everybody, they're all ready for that shot. So they're not standing like this girl here or this girl here because they're not part of it. But the moment they get in a circle, look how they, these girls, how low they are. They, they are ready for that ball. They're not standing up like this or like this. They are ready to receive and hopefully touch the ball for a goal. So this is really commitment. Well done. This is how you have to do it with a short corner because it's, it's it, yeah, it goes so quick. Okay, so here is another short corner. You see now three goals here um, and a goalie. So I think before, I think one of them ran too quick before the injector, uh, oh, sorry, before the injector touched it or maybe before the, um, I think before the injector touched it, not to do with the umpire, before the injector touched the ball, so one run and then the umpire said, okay, you have to go back to the center line. So they only have three. So keep in mind the videos we have seen before, keep in mind what we told you about defensive structure and offensive structure. So first question, Manu. now we'll look at the blue team. And this is the attacking team. I would like to know, what do you think? What, is, what do you think of that? What is this good? Where can they improve? What are your thoughts on the blue team here? I would like to know when I, now we talked about uh, the role as an attacker, as attacking team, and they have, Four girls here, one, two, three, four, plus the injector. How does this look like? What are, you, what are your thoughts here? So you can press the space bar, let me know, or you can send a message to, uh, to Stephanie. Don't be afraid, there's nothing, there's never a wrong answer. It's just trying to, to, to get your thoughts and discuss. So I'm looking for the blue team. What are your guys' thoughts? So we have, do we have an attack on the team? Yes, Megan is there. Yes, Lydia. There yeah. isn't anyone for the rebound. Anyone for rebound. Uh, Megan, you're a forward. I would love to hear what, you, what your thoughts. You can type it. You can say it. I would love to hear what your thoughts are. They're too crowded. No rebound, nobody for the rebound. They're all on one spot. Yeah, okay. Uh, somebody stepped away, they're too crowded. Very good, yeah, because listen, they, they are not ready. They're, this is, maybe she starts running now towards this line here, throughout the post, but it's, I think she realized here, but those two are just not part of the, of the short corner. Later on, we'll show you a better clip where everybody really goes inside. But this is really a waste opportunity because what you will see now is that look now, this is not a bad shot. Um, it is a shot on goal, which, which you need. But can you imagine this girl being here, this girl being here, this girl being here? I, I guarantee it would have been a goal because the moment it's on a stick, someone will take the ball from her and, and push it in the net. So that's why it's so incredibly important as, as forwards that everybody has a role and your role is never to stay on the line. Your role is always what I showed before to go inside. Let the injector go to the side and these goes go inside. Really, really important. So now they can get the balls away. Yeah. And they're done. Okay, so one more. Now they are back to four. So now it's the other team. Okay, so let's have a look uh, this time on both sides. So first of all, the attacking team. What are your thoughts? The, this time the gray team is attacking. Any thoughts here? Just a quick um, message, what you, what you think. Is this better from the gray team as the one before? What are your thoughts? What do, what do you think is gonna happen?
They aren't spread out. They aren't spread out. I'm talking about the offensive team, eh? So I'm talking about the, oh, you Great mean team. here, the great team, not spread out. Probably you mean those two. Yeah, no, that, that's a point. They should maybe be one in here. Um, what I like about greats, much better than the one before, because this one is really going for the goal. This goal should maybe be here. So remember the, 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 the numbers, one here, one here. This is pretty good. This goes here. The only thing I would like to see a bit more is bending your knees. You need to be ready for that ball. Both of them, you know, like the, the girls saw before, this, this university players, they were all ready for it. Um, defensively, another question for you guys is defense. How about defense? The blue team, how about their setup? Are there any defenders in, in the room? What's that? What is Kayla? Kayla, she's a defender. Defender? Yeah, she's forward. Could be forward. But it doesn't matter if you're a forward or defender. It's more, let me know, guys. What do you think of blue? What do you think of the blue team? How about that setup? Is it good? Where can they improve? What do you think? Uh, they should be in front of the gray. I mean, some are, uh, some are, but some aren't. Yeah, well, yeah, maybe in front of here, but that's, yeah, I mean that, that this girl could be dangerous. So this girl should maybe be a couple steps forward. What I really would like to see from, from blue here as defenders is their stick is not on the ground. Look at that, this stick is high, this is high. If you are a stopper or you're here, your stick needs to be low. It needs to be really low. You need to be ready. So you see, basically both teams are not really totally ready for what's going to happen for that shot or for defensively. Although this is good, although I think she ran in the wrong direction, but okay, here she's trying to approach them. This is not bad setup. She could, uh, and this, she could be a little bit here and she could be a step, couple steps out. Yeah, I would like to see a little bit different. It depends how you start, but it's not too bad. It's a bit of a square here and there's an open view for the goal. So not too bad. And I think from the ones who have seen it a couple of weeks ago, is I really like this, this running outside the, the circle. You know, she just dribbles it to the side. Um, but also here you can see a little bit still an opportunity. Yeah? If you're closer, these girls will be ready. So if she's really ready, really ready and focused on this, she would have a huge opportunity for that, that rebound. See? She's just too late. She's the stick is not on the ground. She's not ready for it. That's what I mean. Be ready for it. Isn't golden short corners are golden opportunities. Okay. So what is important during short corners? Um, the main thing is to get a shot on goal. I think most of the ones we have seen also from the younger teams, there is a shot on goal. Um, the variations will will you will talk about it later when you um, move on the field hockey to full field and we get older. Uh, I told you short corners is a science, and it is. They talk, they, they look at the opponents, where is the space, can we do a variation, uh, how do we get the best possibility of scoring? So you saw this university team, and every time they come together before a short corner, they talk about what's the variation, direct hit, deflection, left, right. Um, the setup is always the same. So always one left, one right for offensive team, one behind you to make sure that you stop the ball, goes over, and defensive is also the same. Yeah, the 3 1 or the 1 3, 1 1 and then 3 behind her. Um, know the role of every position. It, you know, some of you may might be a forward to go back to defense, defense to forward. You're still very young, you don't know yet. Make sure you know the role for every position as a forward or as a defensive player. And then you have to stay in your task. You know, no, don't go over the ball or something. You see, just stay in the area you need to defend. The rebounders, and that's, we can't emphasize that. Uh, uh, much in the, too much. It's so important that your stick is low. You have seen it, not only the defensive, but also offensive play. Your stick need to be low. You're, and you saw these, these, these women in the, uh, the university, uh, women, they were so low. The stick was low. They were ready for that ball. Defensive offense, it didn't matter. Um, and they're already waiting and seeing that ball. So that's, that's really, as a rebounder, and we have seen it in that clip, there was one girl who was she was there, but she wasn't, really, she wasn't really there. She wasn't really ready for that ball, which is too bad. So think about it. It's a huge opportunity, but you need to be focused on receiving the ball. 
Okay. Um, any questions here or any clip you would like to see again or this is your chance. We have a small group. So yeah, please ask questions if you, if you want. It's really important that you understand the roles, but also what you should do in your position. So maybe um, if everybody maybe ask and ask a question just in their role, you know, if you're a defender, midfielder, forward, what, what your role is in a short corner. Um, this is your chance, you know, it's still, uh, we're 40 minutes in, so we have 10, 15 minutes, whatever you would like. Just, just ask questions. This is a great opportunity. Let us know. Yeah, you can. Oh, Stephanie said to me that I can try to unmute, unmute you all so that it's easier for me to talk. Yeah, okay. Okay. I